welcome to a new episode of Super Nerds UK. Welcome to 2015, and today we're going to talk about things we've got to look forward to this year. There's lots of things happening in the film world, game world, all geeky things this year. What are you looking forward to? Yeah. So we've got um, basically a, a list, literally a list here, because it's too much for me to remember. Anything more than two things, and my brain goes stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so what 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 are you most looking forward to this year, Tim? Well, I mean, maybe we should save that till last if we if we do the, the most. Uh, well, the most thing I'm looking forward to. We've already spoken about quite a lot anyway. I in a previous so. video, so I'll just mention. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Avengers: Age of Ultron. That is what I'm looking forward to most. Being a comic book nerd, that's what I'm looking forward to. The first film blew me away. First time I went to see it, sat there, smile on my face for the near on two and a half, with a nearly three hour film. Didn't stop smiling throughout. Um, lots of fan service, just hoping this second film is exactly the same. Um, seems to be a bit of a darker tone, like I mentioned before, but looking forward to it massively. One comic book film though, the Seems to we don't know much about yet. Is Fantastic Four? Fantastic Four, yeah. No, not even a whisper. We've got yeah. uh, we've got it. Um, we have Kate, casting that. About we've it. got Ka Katie. Is it Mara? Do you think that's how you? Oh, now you ask me before I. <laughs> I, I could have checked before. <laughs> well, I, th I think it's Kate, Kate Mara is playing Sue Storm. Um, uh, my main names. Um, we've got uh, Miles Teller, who I think is going to be a very. A, a very big it's, it's all a very young here. cast, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. It's, um, it's like the basically going right. We need someone young because we're going to make billions of them. films. Yeah, yeah. You've got Miles Teller, Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, you've got um, Billy Elliot is playing. Haven't they changed the, the family relationship as well? Because there was yeah. a brother and sister, and now it's changed. Now apparently it's an, it's an adopted brother and yeah. sister now, isn't it? Because um, one's black. Yeah, I forgot his name. Oh. The um, guy out of. Uh, I forget his name, but the fellow out of Chronicle is going to be playing uh, Johnny Storm. Oh, yeah, I really like the Chronicle. Yeah, yeah, the Chronicle is a good film, but he's going to be playing Johnny Storm anyway. Johnny Storm is playing by him, and Billy Elliot is playing the thing. Billy Elliot dancing down. I'm the thing! As he does it's clobber in time, yeah. and then he does a little pirouette. Dilly, dilly, dilly. Um, I, I totally forgot his name as well. Oh, Jamie Bell! Jamie Bell is playing. Uh, Ben, who becomes the thing, and we've got um, right. Miles Teller, who's going to be playing Mr. Fantastic. Oh, to Tony Kebble is playing. It's, it's not Von Doom in this. Yeah, it's, it's a different just Doom. Doom. It's yeah. just Doom, yeah. and it's just it, apparently it's his um, computer handle, and that's how we get ah, the name Doom okay. in this. Right. Um, but he was he was fantastic as the villain in um, Dawn the Plant of the Apes. So it would be interesting to see him out of it, okay. beyond yeah. the CG world and CGI world and see him in Fantastic Four. So looking forward to it, but we don't know much about it unfortunately. So there you go. Uh, I suppose I'll, I'll tell you my biggest film that I'm looking forward to this year, it's going to be Star Wars. Um, we actually don't really know much about it. I've done a video on the trailer, if you look back through our list. Um, I, I briefly talked about the, uh, the teaser trailer. But once we start to hear more news about the film, and if a new trailer breaks out soon, hopefully, then um, we'll do something more on it. Our videos might get a bit less come November when Tim's camping outside. <laughs> Trying to get tickets. <laughs> yeah. Be first in the queue for it in November. Yeah. Um, but no, um, but obviously I'm looking forward to it. I'm yeah. not as big a yeah. Star Wars yeah. man as you, but... You're the comic nerd and the, yeah, the, the, the sci-fi. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, um, definitely one I'll be looking forward to. That's, I am looking forward to Avengers as well, though. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, we've got, very like, much so. We've got, well, like I said, there's a lot. Of, we've got the next Bond film, Spectre. It's not yes, yet. yes. Um, which? Well, it got leaked, we, didn't it? The script. Yeah, 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 but I've not read it. I, I don't right. want to see any spoilers, so I'm just kind of waiting to see what happens. Daniel Craig's back in the. Uh, Christopher Waltz is he? Isn't he the villain in it? Is he? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I haven't really looked at anything to be honest with you. I've heard a few things, that's that's it really. I know Christopher Walters is a villain mm. and uh, Dave Bautista or Batista as he was named as he's called in WWE from Guardians of the Galaxy is also in it. Mm. Um, so 
Looking forward to that as well. Well, so far I've enjoyed all of the uh, the new Bond films with Daniel Craig. I think still think Casino Royale is his best one. I I and I, mean, I, um, I think there's a lot of people who think this. But I think a lot of people now see it as it's a choice between Sean Connery and Daniel Craig. He's the best right. now. I think that 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 when I have conversations with people, it's either Sean Connery or Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig is mine because I enjoy it as much as I love all the Bond films. I even say it quietly like the Tim. I actually yeah. really liked the two of them. Ones. He was a bit of a, he was a bit more of a. They're a little bit dated one, now, yeah. but, but he, he was more like the Daniel Craig character yeah. than he is now. Well, but I don't think the audience in the eighties were ready for it. Were ready for it. No, they were, they were still, they were still attached to Roger Moore's Mister Wink Wink. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, mean, I don't think they were ready for the hard. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it, it was a fifteen certificate. The uh, is that the Living Daylights, the second yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. I think it was the first Bond film to have such a high certificate rating and I remember going to the cinema with my dad to go and see it and I couldn't get in because <laughs> it was a 50 so I had to go see Indiana Jones instead. Well, 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 like, well, well it wasn't all bad then was no, it? No, no, <laughs> got to see Indiana Jones. Yeah. But, uh, but like, I don't think they were ready for the, that sort of James Bond ready at that well, time. You watch them now, they're good. Yeah, yeah they're yeah, good yeah. films. Yeah, but yeah, I, I, Daniel Craig is my favourite Bond now. I'd go as far as Daniel Fair Craig is my favourite Bond. And what else are you looking forward to? Too? Um, let me look at my uh, little list here, because there's so many. There's a few that are sort of mediocre looking forward to. One is the new Terminator film. Uh, I've spoken about the trailer. You've too. spoken about that, and um, I'm actually kind of on the edge, on the fence, I suppose you could say, with this one. I, I don't know whether to look forward to it or whether to just meh, because... I've actually enjoyed a lot of the Terminator movies. Obviously, the first two, fantastic. Third one, <laughs> <laughs> I've already mentioned. Um, <laughs> um, when it came to the other one, um, um, oh, what's it called? I'm going to do it my head now. I've actually got it in there. Um, uh, Terminator Salvation. Salvation, so thank you. Um, Terminator Salvation, I did enjoy that film. It was good. Uh, just a post apocalyptic. Well, I, I think I said the video. I enjoyed it, but it didn't seem like a Terminator it, it, film to me. Yeah, it was, it was like Mad Max with robots. Yeah, that's a good analogy actually. But I, I, I enjoyed the film nonetheless. It wasn't perfect by all means, but it, it was entertaining, and, I, and there was a few things that I really enjoyed about it. So this one coming, the trailer looks interesting. It's got Arnie back in it. They've I hope they ha it doesn't look like they've shoehorned a sort of a reason why he's old into it. I know they've talked about it with James Cameron as to why he could be old. Okay. One of the reasons is is that he's been sent back in time, but he's um, what I think is that he's been training Sarah Connor since she's been young, and because he's been with her for that long, and he's a Terminator that that they do age apparently. Yeah, he talked about the, he'll be he'll, he'll look older by the, the time it, yeah by the time he gets back to the timeline where the film kicks in because obviously it looks like it goes back to the 80s again from where the first film was and then a whole mess of time <laughs> it's going to be interesting I to see how they do it the trailer, I'm probably well, never mentioned in the video before because I've seen the trailer again a few times and things that impressed me then and like started to grate on me a little bit like where um, she said to him come with me if you want to live and that would seem like a really stupid thing to get wound up over but it just seems like they're trying to force herself too much to be like the original Terminator I don't think we needed to have lines repeated I think they should have done the line they did in um, uh, the Lego movie come with me if you don't want to die <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm sorry you know a lot of people like it but when he jumps out the helicopter and says I'll be back yeah wow uh, it seems very Terminator it's 3. It's all a bit shoehorned in, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. But, I mean, they did that with Terminator 3 and it just didn't work. It, yeah. Hopefully I'm wrong. And obviously I've got the other bonus for Charlie Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, we'll see what we'll see. I'm not going to put any ju real judgments on it right now. <laughs> but um, I'll go see it and it's a Terminator movie. I like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I've always been a big fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger's movies. Um, so... I grew up with his movies basically, yeah. he's been my sort of icon and I, I like the cheesiness and stuff but I, you know, when it comes to the cheesiness of Terminator 3 it was too much. The cheesiness in his chair, it was just, isn't it? It was just like the wrong kind of humour. But anyway, we'll see from there. Um,